Measurement is an essential skill in many fields, from engineering to science to art. It allows us to quantify and compare physical quantities accurately, providing us with valuable data to make informed decisions. Hi guys, by the way, I'm Kenny James A. Cubero, a first year student under the program Master of Education in Physics. And in this virtual teaching session, we will focus on three critical measurement tools. The ruler, micrometer caliper, and vernier caliper. We will explore their features, how to use them correctly, and the different scenarios where they are best suited. Additionally, we will discuss the concept of percent error in measurement, a measure of the accuracy of our readings. By the end of this session, you will have a solid foundation in the use of these tools and an understanding of the importance of accurate measurements in various contexts. Always remember that a ruler is read in two ways. It is read in an inch and it is also read in a centimeter but in this case scenario we will be going to read it in an inch ruler now always remember that one inch has 16 equal markings because in a 12 inch ruler it is equal to one foot. So we're going to read through an inch ruler. So to use an inch ruler, simply place the object you want to measure in a flat surface. Place the ruler alongside it. So align the end of the object with the zero mark on the ruler and read the measurement at the other end of the object. In this case, it is two inches. Next is micrometer caliper. Micrometer caliper, also known as a micrometer, is a precision instrument used to measure small distances or thicknesses. To use it, place the object you want to measure between the anvil and the spindle. Turn the ratchet until the object is firmly held. Then, read the measurement on the barrel thimble scale. Now, let's look at the main scale. The top row, the top row represents all millimeter gradients. The circumference of the thimble is divided into 50 equal divisions, one millimeter. The bottom row means 0 0.5 millimeters each turn of the thimble will make this pool one half millimeter now let's have a method of reading micrometer now this is a sleeve scale and this is a thimble scale now, all we need to do is to read the measurement at the sleeve scale. Notice that there is a movement 
for return the ratchet. All right. Notice where the edge of the thimble scale corresponds to the range of the main scale. From the figure, it can be seen that the edge, the dial scale corresponds to the main scale. In the range 7 and 8, the next. In the range 7 millimeters to 8 millimeters, readings at 7 millimeters on the main scale are readable. 5, 6, 7 millimeters. Now let's look at the measurement result on the rotary scale, which is the thimble scale, this one. Now, see the position of the rotating scale to see if the scale corresponds to the center line of the main scale this one center line of the main scale All right now from the figure it can be seen that 36 rotation scale 36 rotation scale corresponds to the center of the main scale exactly and can read the value of the rotary scale okay that's it or we can have it 37 scale 37 all right by multiplying the resolution value of the instrument, the readable rotary scale line is 37 x scale. 0 0.01 millimeter resolution equals 0 0.37 millimeters. Therefore, the rotary scale of this virtual micrometer is 7 millimeters and 0 0.37 millimeters which is equal to 7.37 millimeters now Let's type into the third measurement tool, which is a vernier caliper. A vernier caliper is also a precision instrument used to measure small distances or thicknesses, but it offers greater accuracy than a micrometer caliper. So to use it, first loosen the locking screw and slide the jaws apart until they can fit around the object you want to measure. Then tighten the locking screw and read the measurement on the main scale and the vernier scale. Now. Let's look at the main scale. This scale is 1 is to 100. That means the grave numbers are the hundredth part of meter or the centimeter. Bigger marks that it was subdivided by 10 smaller marks millimeter. The vernier has 20 spaces 
between vertical mark it divides by 20 millimeters the small division of the main scale obtaining five hundredths of millimeter is 0 0.05 millimeters the small division of the main scale which is the fixed scale is the millimeter that is divided by 20 divisions of vernier therefore the resolution is equal to 1 millimeter divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.05 millimeters resolution of 500 of millimeter is 0 0.05 millimeters now how to read a metric vernier caliper so the main scale note at the bottom center zero of the vernier scale corresponds to the range of the main scale above in the figure you can see the bottom center scale relative the top scale of the top bottom in the range is 48 45 46 47 48 right before the 49th mark this means to say that it can be read as 48 millimeters in the main scale now let's read the measurement result of the vernier scale note the scale position at the bottom of the vernier scale is most consistent with the above scale that means to say the straight most in the marks we have to find out the straight most in the marks from the figure it can be seen that the eight mark corresponds to the main scale above the straight most so the measurement result to main scale plus measurement result read from the vernier scale is 48 plus 0.8 millimeter equals to 48.80 millimeters all right let's proceed to computation for the error of measurements so all we need to keep in mind is to first determine the accuracy of the instrument that we are going to use you have to determine the accuracy and then one main thing to consider is the error of measurements is provided to you by the manufacturer that the instrument that you are you you bought from and the information is typically provided there in the manual next is usually it is expressed as a tolerance value for example plus minus 0 0.01 millimeters so how to compute for the error of measurements so to compute the error or to calculate we need to simply subtract the measured value from the actual value to find the error And once we have already find the error, we need to compare it to the tolerance value afterwards. If the difference is within the tolerance range, then the measurement is considered accurate. If it is outside the range, then the measurement is considered inaccurate 
and should be repeated. I think that's all about a brief explanation of how to use a ruler, micrometer caliper, and vernier caliper, as well as how to compute for the error of measurements. Hope you have learned about them and fall in love with learning. Bye-bye.